How's it going, everyone? My name is Dylan Walker with Yahoo Esports. Today, I've got King Caffeine from Cloud9 here with me, and we're going to talk about some of the more unique Heroes of the Storm talent choices. So, Caff, you're a tank player. Let's start off with uh, Johanna. How do you feel about Blessed Hammer? Uh, Blessed Hammer as a talent itself is not that bad, but the problem is it comes on the 16 talent tier, which is where you get all of your most impactful talents. Um, and it just comes down to not doing enough late, mid, late game. Doesn't feel uh, impactful. Yeah, exactly. The damage is a little too low. It comes a little too late. So it's mm -hmm. actually not that great. Do you remember what you give up to take Blessed Hammer <laughs> on 16? Yeah, you give up either Imposing Presence, um, which really slows all the auto attackers, or you give up your heal on your shield renewal. Um, so a lot of self-sustain. Yeah, yeah, some important stuff. So you've been playing a lot of Thrall recently. Tell me how you feel about World Breaker at 20. Uh, Thrall's a great hero. Um, part of the reason why he's a great hero is because he gets Blink at 20. Okay. Um, so taking anything other than Blink at 20 is, you know, kind of going to be putting yourself a little behind because everyone else is going to have bolts and, you know, they're just going to catch you. That's true. I mean, while you can affect the battlefield from anywhere all over the map, it's just a lot better to stay alive. Yeah. Have you, do you ever, have, do you have any, like, like 360 MLG no scopes with with like World Breaker, Thrall. Oh yeah, hell yeah. You do? Not competitive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quick match for sure. Um, so what about, let's let's jump around here to Avatar. Um, Vile Nest, how do you feel about that talent? Um, that's the slow, right? That's the slow on yeah, the mines. Yeah, that needs to be removed from the game. Okay. It's just, it's too toxic. And there's a reason the ability itself is called Toxic Nest. Yeah. Because any rotation you make is gonna get stopped. You know, they have complete map control. And there's like no risk to the ability itself. Abathur can just place them anywhere. He doesn't have to put himself in a precarious position. You know, he just gets to place them anywhere, all over your back lines, if you're retreating. It's, it's disgusting. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's awesome feedback for Blizzard. So, you play tank, uh, let's get back to, um, what about a new barrack with Crypt Weave at 20, which is where you have to stand and channel to increase the amount of time that an enemy is in Cocoon? Yeah, so any spell that's going to cause your character to basically be CC'd while they're casting it is just going to lose a lot of value. And that's the problem with that talent right there. Um, the talent itself, the cocoon, already lasts for 10 seconds. Mm. That's an insane amount of time. Yeah, that's a long time to be CC'd. Yeah, exactly. Adding four extra seconds uh, at the price of having to stand there and channel it, it just isn't worth. Yeah. What do, what do you take at 20 normally? Uh, it depends on your composition. If you're solo tank with Locust Swarm, you'd take Hardened Shield just for more survivability. Uh, if you're double tank and you're playing more of the bruiser role, you'd go for Rewind just for more kill potential. Okay. So let's talk about Stitches a little bit. Uh, indigestion, which is the talent that spawns a Retchling. Do you usually go Retchling build? Um, I do when I can. That build actually got nerfed recently, but I love it. Um, on our team, we call them like Slimers, like the guy from Ghostbusters. From Ghostbusters. Right? It okay. looks exactly like him. Um, and you have it on like a five second cooldown. You can just spawn a bunch of them. It's, it's an extremely fun talent. Like it's really good at pushing. It's really good at blocking skill shots. Um, but again, the problem is it comes on an impacted talent tier, 13, uh, which is where you get Relentless, which is one of your basic you know, things as a tank, is not yeah. being able to get CC. Yeah, Relentless halves the duration of stuns, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Rainer. Do you know any Rainer, Rainer talents? Yeah, of course. Okay. I don't play Rainer, okay. but I know his talents. You know yeah. his talents. You seem very knowledgeable about this video game. I've <laughs> been playing it for a long time. Okay. Um, so what about Relentless Leader? That talent. Oh, man, funny you bring that up. Um, so the first experience we had with that talent was in China. Okay. Um, what that talent does is it gives Rainer Relentless 50% reduction to CC, but it also gives him the ability that every five seconds he basically negates a CC and knocks everyone away from him, um, which is extremely oppressive to tanks like ETC, who you know you slide in, stun your target. If you try to do that to a Rainer with a Relentless Leader, you just get knocked back immediately. You basically use your cooldown to do nothing. Oh god! So it's broken. And extremely frustrating to play against. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, do you normally? Would you normally? Does your team normally take Relentless Leader now? Um, it depends again on the matchup, like most talents. Okay. I would say against ETCs, yeah, you're going to see Relentless Leader 100% of the time. Okay. So you are the original Murky. Everyone knows that. Um, let's talk about Murky's level 20, the upgraded ult. I believe it's called Never Ending Murlocs. Oh yeah, um, that upgrade's pretty strong, actually. Uh, if you can afford to get March of the Murlocs at 10 and give up op Octo Grab, uh, the level 20 increase is just a huge spike in the power level. Uh, basically just negates an entire area of the battlefield. 
um, I think it's for about eight seconds, and the, uh, there's increased amount of murlocs and they're increased slow. So it's basically like tagging anyone in that giant area with like a 90% slow, basically a root. It's so strong. Wow, that's intense. All right, well, uh, that's going to do it for us here today. Um, if you want to see more Cloud9 Talent Choice videos, check it out on Yahoo Esports.